Good to have you on board, Peter. Thanks much for joining in. Now, largely on the back of the rising rent costs, the consumer inflation is expected to remain hot in September, but slightly lower than August's pace. Um, given the fact that it would mean that inflation was running at an annual pace of about 8.1% down from 8.3%, how critical is it, particularly in light of the next Federal Reserve meeting at the start of November? <laughs> Well, good morning. I think a couple of things. First off, if it's underwhelming, so let's just assume that it hits that number and the, the market more or less digests it and hails it, then I think that uh, it'll probably put a, um, a dampener on the equity markets. I don't think it's going to be an uplift for them, and I'm sure that the Fed will look at probably 75 basis points in November. But if it went the other way and it was worse than expected, then that really creates some havoc naturally across central bankers and the realization that they haven't tamed this wild beast called inflation, which would drive dollar up and I think would uh, really crater markets equities three to four percent sell off tonight. Peter, let's look at two scenarios. The inflation yeah. print is better than what the street is anticipating. How do you see yeah. the market reacting then? And if the inflation I, print, God forbid, I mean, it's a stubborn Fed we are dealing with, is poor than what markets are anticipating? Okay, first off, if it is better than, and, and they're happy with the number and it's, it seems to be trending in the right direction, then I don't think, I think the realisation is that they're it's slowly recovering and uh, there's a sense of, Maybe a little bit. Of, I'm not suggesting positive sentiment, but a little bit better, and and, and it's a it's a bit of a feel good movement and a moment. If it goes the other way, I think that that's a realization that uh, things are quite dire, and is it heading towards that double digit ten percent? So that's where it's a flick of the coin at the moment. How we how we more or less inhale it, and everyone's watching at the moment today. U.S. dollar. What's happening across it was a flat night in New York. And what's happening across Asia equities, which I don't expect many surprises today, but uh, we'll get some surprises in about 12 hours. If you have to make just one trade valid for rest of the year, and I'll keep it open, commodities, currencies, which one would you bet on? I think you'd have to be looking at US dollar strength continuing. We're currently sitting, I've got that, that 113.30. So 113.30 for the US dollar index. And many analysts are saying we'll see a 116 to 118 handle if things really ramp up. And I'm of that uh, probably camp. So yes, I think the US dollar is the place to be over the next two months leading into Christmas. There is one consensus which we always have every time we meet on the channel. Who will win the next Indian-Australia match? And we know that... And, well, it is India, right? That's what I heard. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I do think so. You guys, I think you guys are playing this weekend in Melbourne against Pakistan, and I'm sure that's going to be a sellout. And um, well, I think India will get up on that one as well. You guys are look. You guys are hot. There's no doubting that. You're you're probably the number one team in the world at the moment. And uh, yeah, you're going to take some beating. I'll tell you. <laughs>